with eight kilometers on the gum, I left with like a buffer of 20 in Emmen at McDonald's where I could only charge 50 kilowatts. And here I am at Shell Recharge where they promise 175. So let's see if that works. Plug connected. I'm using the Shell Recharge badge. So that should definitely work. Let's see. I like the interface because it should show us exactly if the charging process works nicely. Please pay. I already did. So slow, payment accepted. We're already one minute in. What a waste of time. Anyway, so it's interesting because I've been at another location where there is actual payment terminals for credit card and so on. And here we are at Blaloweg Zwolle. It's a relatively small station next to a garden center, which is comfortable if you want to do something. So the red light in the car just went on to warn me about the range. And I found out that this actually means that you are at 10% of uh, state of charge. So I thought that I would arrive with a little less and indeed here we are at 9. We might hit the 250 amps even though I didn't I didn't really uh, speed up on the highway because it's only 100 kilometers per hour because it's still 5 o'clock in the daytime. So yeah, the battery isn't even warm enough to take full amps up until 250. I hit that yesterday for the first time um, after 200 kilometers of driving. So then the battery was heated up nicely over here. Couldn't really expect it because of local roads earlier today and then this 50 kilowatt charge that doesn't really help but the throttling is really crazy I don't know if you saw the jump in amps all the way down then back up I really uh, I really don't know much about the battery pack in the e-jumpy but we don't hear any active heating or cooling no activity whatsoever during this fast charging process the chargers are quite silent though that is that is good way to go tritium and i wonder if we can find out because at the other place doesn't say anything about the output why not ah so here we see this stickers that I've seen before that's interesting because they seem to be brand new but they were here they were here in summer already so I don't know I don't know what happened there. Maybe they got maybe they got replaced. Makes you wonder though. But I see this sign four times. So if I read that two times 350 kilowatt and if there are actually four of these signs saying this. So I showed you three, but there is a fourth one then that means that the shell recharge that is now sold as 175 kilowatts it could actually do much more 
if we look at these power units and the amps are going back up again do you get it so yeah i'm curious if in the future shell will just offer more power uh, because they expect more powerful uh, vehicles in the future who knows it's funny that they actually in the commercial there's the efa check charger over there and what pretty much looks like an eagle But here we are at the tritium chargers. So yeah, the charging process, I mean, 80 kilowatts, I'll take it. I would like more, but I don't think this battery pack will, uh, I think it, it is able to do 100 kilowatts until maybe, maybe 30%. So it is not getting that right now because the battery pack hasn't been heating Heat it up properly, it's four degrees outside. I can't drive really fast in the Netherlands in the daytime. So yeah, expect 80 kilowatts with this vehicle. At least I think until 50%, but I'll let you know what I find out. What is the range saying? I think we are 100 kilometers from Amsterdam. So uh, yeah, I'm not home yet. See you later.